coming into the music industry at all? That's a really loaded question. I mean, <laughs> jeez, um, you really went in. Yeah. I'm looking to it. Um, so many different, um, yeah. different things can be challenges. I think yeah. one of the main challenges yeah. for me was um, being really hard on myself. Yeah. And like I said, being like I need it this way, and it only has to look and sound this way. Yeah. Um, so I've been learning to just let things go, and sometimes yeah. things happen whenever. Like you can have producers who just ghost you for like months, years, you know, you're like, I want you for this song, I need it now. Yeah. But yeah, you're just like, ah, oh, now I have to chase around people and all that stuff. So that's, that's another challenge. So the shirts were printed incorrectly, the back of the sleeve, and that was like an attention to detail part, which is like so important, obviously, yeah. that we fucked up on. And so we were both like freaked out at each other after that for a while. So we took like maybe like two weeks or something to just be like, it's gonna be okay, like it'll be fine. But we like were very stressed about it because one, it costs a lot of money. Two, we were just mad at each other and yeah. ourselves yeah. for being just like, you being know, like, why did we not like, see that? What in the, the hell? <laughs> yeah. um, and I think taking that and learning from it and then coming back so much stronger and like just knowing exactly what to not do. Yeah. Um, was probably like a really awesome moment for me. Fucking up is okay. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Making really expensive okay. mistakes is okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Some high school kids in, in Bali, there's like hip hop especially is not necessarily, and especially the type of hip hop we do, is not necessarily at the forefront. And it's kind of just like a, the whole industry seems so big and so far away. So it's just like, you just need to step by step overcome like, in terms of making contacts, your first gigs, you just need to overcome that like, that initial fear you have and just be able to really put yourself out there to slowly start working your way and navigate through this industry because it's, it's pretty insane. Yeah. <laughs> it can be pretty daunting, yeah. Yeah, you got to. It's the only way you get how, out there. That's how you grow. Yeah. I don't even like talking. But I got to talk. You gotta like network, like talk to people out there, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing, definitely, because like, yeah, it's not that I don't want to talk. Oh yeah, I don't want to talk. <laughs> nah, yeah, like it's, it's a, in, a good, in a good way, you know what I mean? Like it gets you out there, builds your confidence up a little bit. And just go for it because I know what it feels like, you know, when you're in a, you know, you want to do stuff, but you got so many thoughts thinking that you can't. Yeah, and yeah. you make up excuses for yourself and really, you just gotta do it. Yeah. You gotta put your mind to it and get shit done, really. Yeah, just gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't be. Yeah. Really. Like, yeah. It's particularly when, you know, if you think, because there's so much, so much competition out there. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that there's going to be a lot of people out there where you think that they're going to be a whole lot better than you. <laughs> <laughs> and you always yeah. put that on Yeah, and definitely yeah. in my course, there's so many incredibly talented people yeah. in my course. Um, where I've, I've had a lot of times where I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <tough. laughs> But I think, I think it's like everyone has their own unique abilities mm -hmm. and it's just, you know, stick with it um, and don't be afraid to, if you're not confident in one thing, just give it a go anyway. Yeah, stay true to yourself. <laughs> stay true, yeah, stay true to yourself. Anything that could be, you know, stopping you, um, stopping you or like getting you away or making you frustrated is yourself. Like, it'll come someday, like, I have had difficulties, which is, again, myself, mm. um, just telling myself, oh, what if it doesn't happen, yeah. stuff like that, yeah, that's just, that's just all in the head, and it will, it will, it will happen. Oh, yeah, like, a lot, I've always been a really nervous person, like, my entire life, I've had, like, a lot of anxiety, and um, just in general, like meeting people and just like stepping out of my comfort zone and actually like talking to people and like networking with people and making new friends. Like it's always been hard for me unless I've kind of like been pushed into like a lot of situations. 
that's kind of, I feel like I've opened up a lot more mm. since I've come here and like performing. I've, I've always been sweet with doing that. It's always been a thing where I've, okay, I get more nervous in like a room of people. It's just sometimes, you feel, like, like, you, yeah, you feel different sometimes. Yeah. And, like, I always get nervous, like everyone gets butterflies. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what anyone says or the big artists say. You always get butterflies before you go on stage. Like it doesn't matter if it's like, if you're nervous or like if you're excited, you're gonna get butterflies. You gotta step over that and jump over that. You can just do it. Because push that's, yourself more. Yeah, just push, push yourself yeah. straight into it. Yeah. Because you like, I don't know, go like afterwards. <laughs>